Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today on Ubix Toys I'm going to go through an Integrity Toys special online event which has replaced the online convention these past two years. I will show you in detail the nine dolls presented during the five days of this online event from Monday November 14th through Friday November 18th. The dolls are pretty cool and are available via a variety of purchase methods as right to buy lotteries or made to order. The theme of this year is Stay Tuned, and every doll is inspired by a famous TV show of the 60s and beyond. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments which doll is your favourite. Ok, let's begin. A few months ago, a first doll was unveiled to the W Club members and she was the preview doll connected to this event's theme. She's really unique in the Poppy Parker line, but I didn't pre-order her because she will not fit in my collection. We have already seen some grey gradient colour dolls in the doll universe, like Shadow High, Monster High or Jean Marshall. Let's see her in details. Her name is Poppy Parker titled We Love Poppy. It's a mini gift set. And especially for this occasion, she's designed by Mark Tinky. I would have pre-ordered her if she was in colour, but I totally understand the concept to simulate the way an early 1960s TV audience would have seen her on their black and white TV. She is freely inspired by the TV show I Love Lucy. Here is a photo of Mark Tinky from his Instagram account. What do you think of her in real life? But first, and to celebrate Integrity Toys special online event, 2022 W Club members get the opportunity to purchase a special limited edition Stay Tuned Swag Kit on a first come first serve basis. It contains a special souvenir backstage pass, two Poppy Parker wardrobe screen test cards with a display easel, a TV card holder to display with your Stay Tuned doll lineup, nine TV show souvenir collector cards designed to fit inside a TV stand and a stay tuned reusable shopping tote. A real miniature television would have been just awesome. Ok, so on day one we had a reboot of the TV show Dynasty, starring Victoire and her sister Della Rue. Two fabulous legacy inspired dolls to the East 59th line and designed by Chris Stokel. Each doll is a limited edition of 750 pieces worldwide at a price of $165. Like a W Club member said, it's the same look on all the East 59 ladies, and especially on Della Rue. Silver eyeshadow, red lips, curled hair, it had become super repetitive. However, this time Victoire had a brand new eye screening, and I love her short hair. I'm just a little disappointed that there are not more accessories like a bag or a bottle of champagne. But I love both of them. They are really gorgeous. I will try my look at these two lotteries. On day two, Integrity unveiled a new Poppy Parker, and not the least. She's an alien commander and she's inspired by our favourite science fiction TV series of the 1960s. This Galaxy Girl is designed by David Butchery. Her edition size is very big, 3000 pieces worldwide and she costs $165. This poppy is an IT Direct right to buy lottery. It's a really nice concept. I love the colour of her hair and eyebrows, but her pink skin tone? Well, I really don't know. I have no doll with fantasy skin tone in my collection, and to be honest, I'm not a fan of her screening. But the laser gun is fun. Don't you think they could have taken the alien concept so much further? It's a missed opportunity in my opinion and an easy pass. On the third day, two dolls inspired by the comedy sitcoms of the late 80s and early 90s were presented. Both are designed by Vaughn Sawyer. The first one is Tobias Alsford, titled Fashion Matters, from the Monarch's Hum line. He's a made to order, so you can buy as many as you want. Expected ship date in summer 2023, and he costs $180. Ouch! As Integrity Toys say, Tobias Alsford in the role of a nerdy yet sexy fashion intern coming of age as he tries to shake off last remnants of his geeky high school years and grows into a more mature look. I really don't know the comedy show from where he is inspired, but he looks very fun. 
Honestly, I like him a lot. I love his face, his beard, his hairstyle. His outfit is so cool, and especially his cardigan sweater. And I have no Tobias in my home collection. So, maybe I will pre-order him. The second doll presented was Kiki Edizi, titled Bel Air Princess, and freely inspired by the Prince of Bel Air. She's from the Meteor line, and her price is $170. She stars as a sweet, introverted teen, affectionately nicknamed Princess by her ultra-wealthy Hollywood family. Well, what can I say? She doesn't appeal to me at all. I don't like her fashion style. Her screening and her hairstyle are very bad. What's wrong with her lips? And why is she flat feet? Anyway, she's an easy pass for me. On day 4 was unveiled a new Poppy Parker. Again, I should say. But this one is very cute and she looks like an old school poppy. She's designed by David Butchery. I think she has the Coney Island Big Eyes screening, very often used these last few years. Unfortunately, she's offered via lottery of 2,500 pieces. Good luck to all who really want her. The price is $165. Her name is Miss Independence and she's based on the mid 1960s sitcom That Girl TV show. Her skin tone is FR white and she has raven hair color. Surprisingly, she comes with an alternate pair of legs with high heeled feet, but no high heeled shoes in this package. For the last day of the event, we have not one, not two, but three dolls presented. The first one was Ameline, designed by Jason Wu and wearing one of his fashion dresses. I'm so happy she's made to order, so many people asked for her. And this one is gorgeous with her red hair. She's titled Jason Wu Collection Winter 2021 and she has the Japan skin tone. Her price is high, $199, but it's the current price for a Jason Wu doll. I just love this version of her. She's a great character and I already have two of her that you can watch on my channel. Her miniature Jason Wu dress is beautiful. The color is perfect. Her bag has already been seen multiple times, but it fits nicely with the dress. Unfortunately, as usual, there are no long manicured nailed hands with Jason Wu dolls. The second reveal was Giselle Diefendorf, titled Hello Lover, from the New Face line. She costs $170, and she's a maid to order too. And surprisingly, she's designed by Mark Tinky and David Buttery. Okay, what's going on? Where's Jesse Ayala? He's usually designer of the New Face and Fashion Royalty lines. Rumors are already circulating on the W Club forum. We need to hear some explanations from Integrity. Okay, let's go back to Giselle. She starts in Girl in the City, a modern reinvention of popular romantic comedy, Sex in the City. Well, I don't like her. I'm not usually a fan of this character and given the style of her hair, this might be a nightmare. Her screening looks dated in my opinion. I already regret the fierce looks Jessie done in the past for New Face dolls. I'm still happy for those who love this character. The third doll of this last day is... What? A second Ameline? Wow, I didn't expect that. She's a made to order and she costs $199. You know that I love this sculpt, but this time I'm not drawn to her at all. The dress is boring and especially the screening looks odd. Big eyebrows, too much white colour under her irises, and the under eyelashes make her look weird. She has the F or white skin tone and the raven hair colour. So, here are all the 10 dolls of this Stay Tuned collection. My favourites are Della and Victoire Rue, Redhead Ameline, and I'm still on the fence for Tobias. Here is the first look at the sleek Stay Tuned theme packaging and doll stand. And you, what do you think of these new dolls? Who are your favorites? What did you like or not like? Don't hesitate to comment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recap of the Stay Tuned 2022 event of Integrity Toys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Enjoy the dolls you have or will have. Stay tuned. I will see you very soon to unbox some of these dolls. Bye for now.